cloudy, hazy, and cold. People across the valley feeling the chill. A day after downtown Sacramento saw its coldest afternoon in 10 years. And the dropping temps are raising the concern about the large number of house fires local crews are being forced to tackle. Tonight, the connection and the cause. Thanks so much for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Tony Lopez. We begin tonight with the warmth no one wants to feel this holiday season as house fire fears rise. Feeling the heat for the holidays, the homegrown hazard that's taking off this time of year. People are cooking more at their home, so there's an opportunity for a different type of hazard. Fire crews say the danger of blazes breaking out inside people's homes go way up every Christmas season. But this year, with inflation in play, some folks may not be maintaining their homes as well as they used to. What we don't want to see is chimney fires. We do go often to them if they're not being maintained as they should be. Another big concern, fire sparked by electrical cords and outlets. That's one of the challenges we do see uh, is people plugging in too many things into their outlets. That potentially could overload that circuit. Just last Friday, SAC Metro fire crews responded to this house fire in the Foothill Farms neighborhood. that caused extensive damage. Five people, including an eight month old baby, were inside at the time. The initial cause? So they had basically an unpermitted electrical line that went through the dryer vent, ended up catching fire. And now that we're seeing the coldest temperatures so far this year, people are cranking up those heaters. You know, what are you going to do? You have to stay warm. You don't want to freeze. That's what we do in the back part of the house. We use a space heater to keep warm in it at nighttime. But these portable heaters pose another fire concern. That space heater will fall over and potentially catch fire because it can get so warm. Crews say there is one bright spot when it comes to holiday related blazes. We've seen a reduction in Christmas tree fires. That's because more people are using artificial Christmas trees and LED lights which are cooler. But despite the warnings, firefighters say they see the same types of calls each holiday season and the same reaction after a blaze breaks out. One of the most common things I hear when I speak to a homeowner when I'm on a fire is I didn't think it would happen to me. 